Redfern captained the Barnsley side that were always favourites for the Premiership drop. One year later, he's at Charlton, another side the book is a tip for relegation. A case of deja vu, or will the team from the south be better equipped? I think they thoroughly prepared well at the club. You know, I think they've, they've put that across to all the players. You know, what, you know what the situations are going to be like, and you know the, the uh, situations they're going to come up against. Um, and like I say, all, all the lads, to be fair, really, you know, really excited about you know doing well here. We went through a difficult season last year. Um, so did Bolton, so did Palace. And I think Charlton's got that in eyesight, to be fair. And I think they can look at that and think, well, maybe we can do it a little bit differently to that. How did both clubs compare? when they were in similar situations? The only similarities are that the two small, the two small clubs try to do well in a big league. I think that's where the similarities end, because I think every, every club and every manager has his own opinions and does things differently. And I think that's, that is the case here at, uh, at Charlton. I think um, there's a lot of thought going into you know, what's going to happen this season in the summer. Um, I think the club's prepared properly. Um, obviously, it's difficult for them because they're playing in a big league where, you know, where money counts. Um, so, obviously, they've had to spend the money wisely. Occasionally, money isn't an issue. Scott Parker, famous for his TV advert, came from the FA School of Excellence. Goalkeeper Sasa Illich also costs nothing and looks forward to a Premiership debut. Some people um, prefer to play in front of maybe 100, 200 people, but other people like myself, I, I, just, can't, I just relish for the opportunity to keep in front of 30, you know, 30 40, 50,000 people. Mm. And um, I'm just pleased that I'm in a situation where I can do that um, this season and hopefully most of the games will be, you know, you know sell-out seats, and um, if it's like that, then, you know, I can't wait. Does it make a difference when someone like Shearer tries to beat you and you're equal to the shot? Well, if I'm equal to Shearer's shot, then that makes me into a phenomenal goalkeeper, doesn't it? If he beats me, that's like, yeah, well, we expected that anyway. So I think the pressure's more on him than what it is on me. I can only gain, I can never lose from situations like that. Shearer. Charlton's own wizard in front of goal is Clive Mendonca. His sharpness in the box may determine how long Charlton stay in the Premiership. We're not here just to make the numbers up, we're here to stay. Mm. Uh, as I said, I, mean, I think it's going to be hard for us, but we have got some talented players here. And if we can play off as well as we did last season, I'm sure we've got a great chance. What are the ambitions for Clive Mendonca? The ambitions for me is for the next three to four years, or at least, score goals in the Premiership this season, uh, make me mark this season and hopefully, and hopefully stay in the top flight for the next few years. First class football returns to the Valley for the first time since 1957. Alan Kubish's aspirations are clear. My ambition is, is, is to keep this club in the league. I'm not saying at all costs, but I think it is imperative that how far we've come now that we must stay there. And I've had plenty of uh, chats with the chairman and we're going to do everything in our power to stay there. And uh, if, that, if we are successful, then I don't think any other club it, would deserve it more than us. Did you ever feel, Alan, early in those early days when things were very tough here, that you would take Charlton into the Premiership? <laughs> um, not for the first four years, Garth, I must admit. When we was at Upton Park uh, and then moved straight back to the valley, we were was, we was still living hand to mouth, we were struggling and uh, we was keeping our heads above water because of the generosity of the, of the directors, generosity of the fans and the fact that we were doing quite well on the pitch in the first division and uh, I started wondering a little bit about when we sold Lee Bowyer for three million pound and we didn't spend too much of it and we, you know, we didn't do that, that well that season but true to his word the chairman then brought the money back out this year when we bought Clive Mendonca, Matt Yarns, Eddie Yards and Danny Mills and give us that push for promotion. I've said to them this year, it's a big season for everybody, but if you put up a show, then it could take you anywhere. So that's their goal. Not only keeping Charlton in the Premiership, but personally, anything could happen to them. When you walk on the pitch at St James's Park in a few hours' time, will you need to pinch yourself? Uh, I won't need to pinch myself. I think the players will look at some of the people they're playing against and might have to pinch themselves and then get on with it. We'll have to get on with it very shortly this afternoon. Dave, all three promoted clubs last year went straight back down. It's not going to be easy for any of you, is it? No, it's not going to be easy. Middlesbrough have probably got the financial clout above Cholton and ourselves to get good players, which they've shown. But I think Cholton are a good little side. I think if anybody goes to the Valley with the wrong attitude, you know, they can certainly come unstuck. Mm -hmm. and you think, uh, yeah. Can you compete, Dave? Are you confident about 
the future there at Forest? Yeah, I think if we can get some players in and add to our squad, you know, we need to strengthen up. I think we're, we've got some decent players. People like Steve Stone are not bad players and Chris Bart Williams and we've got some experienced players there that have played in the Premier League. And again, we've got one or two players where it's an opportunity for them to say, can we do it in the Premier League? Obviously, that's a big question mark, but uh, it's their futures, uh, well, in, in the balance, really. Mark, always the question that, you know, mm -hmm. and the answer that always gets the most hate mail, mm. which clubs do you think are going to go down? Well, I, th I think for all the, all the, the promoted teams, if, if you consider that there's probably going to be seven or eight teams involved in the relegation scrap, you've got to, to be realistic and you've got to look at it and say, mm. you've got to finish top of that little table. Obviously, it's difficult. There is a massive gulf between the first division and the Premiership. Everybody knows it, and I think they're all in for a difficult season, but I can't say Forrest are going down with him sat next to <laughs> me, can I? Maybe next week when he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, wait for, we'll wait for next week for that one, then. And you'll be to see how Charlton fair in their Premiership debut at Newcastle when Match of the Day returns tonight. It may signify that summer's coming to an end, but it does make the thought...